Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to discuss this topic of immunotherapy because on a video I uploaded probably a year ago, I mentioned that I was going through immunotherapy and since then I'm not and I wanted to sort of like talk about what immunotherapy is, what it's used for, how I got it, and whether or not like I would recommend it. So there's a lot of like immunotherapy is used not just in terms of like allergy treatments but also like cancer and other illnesses. So what I'm actually specifically talking about are allergy shots that are a form of immunotherapy specifically for those that have allergic reactions like asthma and, and different things like that. So about March 2017, I had this severe allergic reaction on my arm. I'll insert some pictures, but I broke out in hives and I was like really shocked because that had never happened to me before. And and I was also experiencing like shortness of breath. I couldn't run without having like really bad wheezing. And my asthma had not been that bad since I was in high school. So like almost 10 years ago when I was like 15 was the last time I really had to use an inhaler. And so I was kind of worried, I was freaking out. I kind of wanted to see like a professional aside from just like my primary care. So I saw an ENT, he said that I had really bad allergies. He, he referred me to an allergist and then from there, I saw an allergist probably like sept so like this time last year and they said okay you should get an allergy test and so first part of immunotherapy is they will give you an allergy test and that is essentially them injecting whatever different common allergens into your skin and doing a patch test to see if you have an allergic reaction to them and I'll insert pictures this is like terrible experience on in my on my in my opinion they inject all these different things so it can be anything from like different types of trees to cat dander to dogs like all sorts of things even like cockroaches and things like that so your body basically will form like red spots and depending on like how large and how high they are they'll be able to determine exactly how allergic you are to certain things yeah, so it's it's basically immunotherapy in terms of like treating allergy symptoms is the idea that the immune system can be desensitized to the specific allergen and so by injecting your body slowly of small doses of that allergen, your body will get used to it and you won't have that same severity of allergic reactions to, you know, to whatever you're having. So like by doing that, they, your allergic reactions will go down. You won't have the same kind of, you know, you won't get hay fever, you won't have the runny nose, you won't break out in hives because your body's gotten used to those small doses and like increased amount over time. That's sort of the idea behind it. But yeah, in, in the, the common term is like immunotherapy used for like treating cancer and that's just trying to stimulate their immune system so they can help fight off the cancer. Yeah, this has nothing to do with it. So basically, Immunotherapy for allergies, they try to do it for a year to get up to that like level where your body won't react severely to those allergens. And you have to go in, so yeah, I, okay, so let me, let me backtrack a little bit. I got all those injections, they start out on your back actually. So they do tons of like the really common allergies amongst humans and they inject them all on your back and you have to sit and wait for like an hour while they sort of develop and you can't touch them because it would ruin like because they write down numbers so they can know what specifically is what where they injected so that a nurse will do but it is actually torture like you you want to scratch your back so badly it feels like you're getting bitten by mosquitoes or you're wearing like a itchy wool sweater that you can't like take off and it's just killing you but it's it's really bad too because you kind of get that allergic reaction of feeling a lot of like pressure and like itchiness and like tightness on the skin and it's just really uncomfortable so they basically use that to sort of weed out the main allergies and then they'll do another spot another um patch test on your side of your arm then they do a patch test on your arm of like specific things that you could be allergic to. So like I had a lot of really bad reactions to trees and molds. And so they did a more specific test of like all these different types of trees and all these specific molds just to see how bad that and like more specifically what trees I'm allergic to and things like that. And I'll insert pictures of that. And that was actually the worst part of it because a lot of things on your back you might not have a reaction to. But on your arm, it's all things that you are, are, are for sure allergic to. They just want to determine exactly what level that allergy is. So that then when you do end up going to do immunotherapy, they make a specific, 
you know, syringe of your allergies and at what like strength. So they need to know in order to properly do it exactly what you are allergic to and what, how bad it is. So yeah, that's kind of how it goes. You'll go meet the allergist after your tests results and then he'll sort of decide what treatment plan is best for you and also just give you a lot of advice on allergies and like helping with asthma and things like that. So they'll like, when I spoke with him, he recommended getting like an air filter, you know, like the kinds that are for purifying the air just to get out all of that like possible tree pollen, dust, mites, like those kinds of things. And then he also recommended, you know, getting a pillow with a cover that has, that's really made for prevention of allergies because when you're breathing, you know, a lot of dust and different particles can get stuck in the, um, in the fabric. So getting sort of a cover that won't let those things seep in from the seams is like a good idea. And then like a lot of other things, but he did put me on like medications. He wanted me to take Brio, which is kind of like a different inhaler, and then the Pro Air HFA, which is the same thing I had when I was in high school. If I'm exercising, I, I still use that. But he did recommend immunotherapy. And again, that's basically you you go in the office once a week minimum. I think it's they recommended twice a week. And I probably did it for about four months, consistently going in like once or twice a week. And what the nurse will do, you'll, you'll just go in and she'll have your syringe ready and then inject various parts like on your arm. And it just kind of, you get a reaction there. They do start out really low, so you won't get like a bump or anything, but you do get those kind of allergic reaction symptoms. It kind of was like how I felt when I break out in hives, where you feel kind of swollen and icky, and I just really hated it, like that kind of experience. And also like a warning for people that are interested in doing immunotherapy, if you do have a severe reaction to one of the injections, you have to start all the way over again. So I was probably four months in, it was probably late December, January of this year, and I got a big reaction, probably the size of a dime, on my arm from where she injected it. And I told the doctor, and he's like, okay, well you have to start from zero again because if you had that kind of severe reaction, it means your body hasn't adapted or gotten used to those kind of allergens that are being put into your body. And so that was like really frustrating because on top of it, immunotherapy can cost a lot. It varies anywhere from $800 to $1,000 a year. And then even after you go through that full 12 months of immunotherapy, there's still th like three to five years of upkeep to make sure that you still have that like small response to the allergens instead of a severe re allergic reaction. Common side effects of getting the shots is like sneezing, coughing, because it's your body's like response to allergens. But yeah, I definitely got like redness and swelling where they injected and just feeling really itchy and like my body kind of felt swollen because that's its response, its natural response. But yeah, like if insurance does cover it, it can be as low as like 10 bucks per shot, but that still really adds up if you're doing it, you know, once or twice a week for a year. So just keep that in mind if you're interested in it. But I do know it has like, research has shown that it does help with reducing allergic reactions, but because it was so expensive, I decided to sort of stop doing it after I had that severe reaction. Would I recommend it? I think that Doing an allergy test is really beneficial, so I'm like really glad that I did get a test done. And I'll show like my results right up here, but I was allergic to like dust, mold, tree pollen, cats, dogs, like all of those kinds of things. And I had no idea how much it affects my day-to-day -day life. Like I didn't know that it was those specific things that are in nature that was affecting me in such a bad way. Also, just kind of that education on being more proactive, getting an air purifier, even like Zyrtec can reduce allergy symptoms. So I do take that and also just having my inhaler and stuff on hand. And I haven't had any really bad issues since then, but definitely like this time of year, the fall is when I have really bad allergies as well as like early spring. So yeah, I figured it was a good time to make it for anyone that might be interested or has like allergies and stuff. Let me know down below if you have asthma or had asthma in the past and if you do have allergies, what are you allergic to? Because I'd really like to know. I don't know many people that have it as bad as I do with like still having to use an inhaler at 24, but I, you know, I, it was a big experience. Like I 
don't think immunotherapy is for everyone. I think if you have really, really bad, severe allergies, then it's worth a try. But I think if you just have like seasonal allergies, it's really not worth like the huge cost and like time to get it done. Let me know if you've experienced this as well. If you found this video helpful, like it, and yeah, feel free to comment below on any other video requests as well in the future. I'd love to hear from you and I hope you're having a good week. Thank you.